If you're looking into foundation repair, you might have heard of the words push peers, and you may have several questions about them. You deserve to be informed about anything and everything that you might be purchasing. In this video, we'll help to inform you about push peers and what the heck they are. Hi, my name is Justin with Dollinghouse Construction. In this video, you'll learn about what are push peers, do you need them, how much they cost, and if it's the right solution for your problem. Push peers are a permanent way to remedy your foundation issues. We here at Dollinghouse install push peers along foundation's footings, and these steel piers are hydraulically driven into the earth until they reach competent soils or bedrock beneath the foundation. Think gigantic nail being driven into the earth. These repair solutions provide the very best option to repair your home's foundation and revitalize that peace of mind. Push peers leverage the weight of the home to be driven into the soils, which usually means we need a nice, heavy home in order to utilize push peers. If we put a pier in on an older, small, one-story home, we could very much lift that house up before we get the pier down to competent soil. If it is a lighthouse, we'll often use something like a helical pier. But push pier systems, as part of foundation repairs, are hot dip galvanized to add additional corrosion protection and supply the product with extended life expectancy. They even come with a lifetime transferable warranty. This service is for people who have foundation issues or foundation concerns. Symptoms of foundation issues could include sloping floors, sticking doors and windows, leaning chimneys, and even cracks like drywall cracks or stucco cracks or even concrete slab cracks. If you're not dealing with these issues, then you may not need foundation repair. There are several reasons why you shouldn't let your foundation issues go unrepaired. Remodeling is not in your best interest before fixing your foundation. If you do remodel, your remodel can very easily get ruined by more settlement or more heaving. Tiles could start breaking, filled cracks can reopen, and doors and windows will begin to not open and close properly. If you do the foundation repair after you remodel, you'll have to redo all the remodeling that you just did. Selling your home as is also isn't in your best interest. If you do, you could lose up to 30% or more of your home's value. You could also do nothing, but those issues aren't gonna go away. You will start to have doors or windows that completely stop working and bigger cracks will start to appear on the walls, floors, stucco, and even in your chimney. Foundation repair cost varies greatly and is dependent upon the repair type, push piers or helical piers or even polyurethane injections, with an average national cost between $18,000 and $60,000. The average foundation repair cost in Southern California and Arizona is much closer to about $24,000. Push peers cost an average of $2,100 to $2,500 per peer in Southern California and Arizona. A permit can range anywhere from $750 to $3,500 or more, depending on the location and valuation of the project. On top of possibly steep permitting fees, there are also engineering fees that need to be factored in. These can range anywhere from $1,000 to $3,500 for structural engineering and $1,800 to $6,000 for geotechnical engineering. To get started on the next step in making your home safe again, click the red Get Started button at the top right of our website. After you fill out a form, you will be placed with one of our project design specialists within 48 business hours. From there, they will set a day and time to do a free inspection on your property, depending on your schedule. In the meantime, we have downloadable documents on our homepage that will help you find out if you're dealing with issues previously stated. Thank you for watching the video. I hope I was able to answer some of the questions that you may have. We also have several more videos and blogs that answer more questions regarding foundation repairs. If you have time, go ahead and check those out.